<laughs> Good. The more scared you are, the thicker the blood. We'll be together forever. <laughs> Kiss her cold lips until the morning come and she gone I can still hear her voice loom But she only exists in the dark of my room Love. I can't ignore you in my room Do anything for you, baby <laughs> I don't remember anyone asking what you want. Anyway. It's not it's not gonna be Bill Mar. Oh, oh, come oh, on. on. You are you are <laughs> Hello We did that the first time we met. Like, well, 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 Where's the mirror? There's no mirror in either of the bathrooms. Baby, there's no mirror. <laughs> oh my god!
Who the fuck are you? Oh, you're not local. Even better. Resident Evil Character Backstories, Donna Beneviento Donna Beneviento is a major antagonist in the 2021 survival horror game Resident Evil Village. She is a member of the four houses who serve under Mother Miranda, along with Alcina Dimitrescu, Carl Heisenberg, and Salvatore Moreau. The owner of House Beneviento and a skilled doll maker, Donna makes up for being the most physically frail of the four lords through clever, targeted usage of hallucinations induced by the plants in her garden. She was voiced by Miyuki Sato in Japanese and Andy Norris in English. Donna Beneviento was the only daughter to her parents and was fearful of others due to having a scar across her face. Her father would build a doll named Angie to keep Donna company, and she would develop a deep obsession with dolls to the point that she would only speak if it was through them. This maladaptive behavior was shown to be of a great enough intensity that it has led to some suggesting she had developed a form of dissociative identity disorder. After her parents' death, Donna chose to isolate herself from the rest of the village and would spend her time creating dolls. She was then adopted by Mother Miranda, a biologist who was experimenting with Megamycete, in an attempt to find a perfect vessel for her late daughter, Eva. Though Donna adapted to the mold and cadu parasite, Miranda found that Donna was underdeveloped and too mentally ill to become a vessel for Eva, but decided to have Donna retain her family's home as well as her status among the other members of the four houses. She would serve Mother Miranda alongside Alcina Dimitrescu, Carl Heisenberg, and Salvatore Moreau, but would only communicate through Angie. Donna would live at her family's estate, the Beneviento House, where she controlled the valley through her ability to manipulate the visions produced by the hallucinogenic pollen of the plants she grew to torment her victims. Once given the ability to manipulate plants, she allowed her gardener to see his family again, but it's implied that she might have done so to torment him. When Mother Miranda learned that a perfect vessel was birthed by the winters, she decided to enact her plan to capture the child and gave Donna a part of Rose's body to guard. During the meeting with Mother Miranda and the other lords, Donna communicates through Angie while watching Heisenberg's show by having Winters be chased by Lycans and his traps. After eliminating the Dimitrescus at their castle, Ethan learns that Rose's body parts have been separated and given to each lord and is forced to travel to Beneviento's house. Donna used her hallucinogens to make Ethan see Mia and later makes him further hallucinate by making him solve a puzzle with a makeshift doll. She continues to taunt him by playing recording of Mia's voice and creating a grotesque creature referred to as the baby through the basement. It's assumed that Donna created the creature and made Ethan hallucinate him losing his weapons, and after he manages to escape from the infant, speaks to him that he can't leave her home. She then sends her dolls to attack him, forcing Ethan to search for Angie and stabbing the doll in the head three times. Upon stabbing Angie with scissors for the final time, Ethan is taken out of his hallucinations, seeing that he killed Donna instead of Angie. Ethan realizes that he's been fighting Donna the entire time, and Benviento's corpse calcifies and crumbles to dust. Upon her death, Ethan collects the flask and succeeds in killing the other lords and stopping Mother Miranda. Donna has the power to control dolls, with her main henchwoman being an unsightly-looking one named Angie. Due to her mutation, she can secrete a pheromone that can control plants that are infected with the Megamycete. She can also induce extremely powerful hallucinations from whoever inhaled the pollen from any one of her plants. She is possibly the weakest of the four lords in terms of physical capabilities, which is why she relies on her powers in order to be a threat. While physically weak and considered to be mentally unstable, her extremely high intelligence is put on full display. She knew exactly how to hurt Ethan, where and when to strike, 
and even used his deepest fears against him in her efforts to distort his reality, challenge his sanity, and ultimately nearly succeeded in thwarting his escape. Donna Beneviento herself doesn't talk much during the game. However, her doll, Angie, will do most of the work. Angie is the one who toys with Ethan when Ethan arrives at House Beneviento. When Ethan was captured by Heisenberg, Donna is mainly quiet the entire time when Dimitrescu and Heisenberg were arguing on who would get to kill Ethan with Angie, encouraging the two to fight. She also possessed good self-awareness. She knew that she couldn't take Winters head on, so she put him through a mentally daunting gauntlet of physical, psychological, and emotional turmoil that was exacerbated by the hallucinatory effects of the flora and fed off his deepest fears to combat him. Judging by the hallucinations she induces in the protagonist's mind, Donna likes to toy with her victims, using their inner struggles and fears to mess with their sanity. For example, Ethan's visions mainly revolve around Mia and Rose's fates. She puts even more salt on the grieving husband's wounds by manifesting constant reminders of his and Mia's turbulent relationship, as well as Rose's demise in a form of a giant, repulsive, baby-like abomination. Although Angie and Donna are presented as separate entities, it's revealed during the Dollmaker's defeat that the one who was hiding from Ethan and being stabbed with the scissors was, in fact, Donna herself, while the protagonist only saw Angie floating away from him independently, implying that she's either a lot less silent and stable than she initially appears, or has a split personality disorder. There's evidence that Donna is not purely sadistic or malevolent, since, as mentioned in her gardener's diary, she advised him to plant the infected yellow flowers near his deceased wife's grave and bestowed the visions of his loved one upon him. However, it's probable that she somehow killed him after luring the man to her house and promising the chance to reunite with his family. bathrooms i just shit myself oh my god just yelling ah shit <laughs> it was shit by the way shit 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 shit, shit. Oh, what, shit. The fuck? what the fuck what the fuck is this place yeah fuck you all right